Hello friends, my name is Gino. Welcome back to my video. I'm showing my face in my YouTube channel for the first time. I'm not familiar with uh, taking videos uh, live uh, with uh, my face in that. If there is any misinterpretation uh, in the video, please uh, ignore it and uh, let's start it. So in this video, I'm going to share a free library management software, uh, which is uh, purely on uh, Java, JSP, and the backend is MySQL. I, one of my client is using this for past two years. It's well working, and uh, I'll share the source code in my description. We can have it. And if you have any doubt in this, uh, please comment below. You can even use uh, it for your college or uh, uh, school project. It's a simple version, and uh, the basic HTML. Uh, and CSS with JavaScript but is also used in the project. So I'll be showing the project in Eclipse IDE. So I have just created a new workspace uh, like library management test. So actually I have hosted this in one of my domain collagechart.com. I have a website known as collagechart.com and I have uh, hosted this project in library.collagechart.com and if you don't know how to host a complete Java project in a domain or a website I uh, have uh, given another video for that. Please check in the description. I shared there. So let me log in in this uh, library management software and quickly say it how it works. So I have just logged in. Okay, I have logged in successfully. As you can see, there is a book category or the student and issue. These are the menus which I have given in this. So if I'm going to the book section. Uh, you can see uh, in the dashboard itself, I am just showing how many books total students had, total issue student, or how many books are out today. Okay, now in the book section, you can uh, search even what all the books are available, and it's uh, auto filling uh, from uh, the database. As you can see, if I am clicking view all books, I have uh, two books here. I mean three three category of books. So, okay, this is not uh, the count of books. So they have three category of books like if I'm going to search for, for global warming let's see yeah it's coming the global warming correct I mean it is directly uh, taken from a uh, uh, database and uh, showing uh, as uh, autocomplete so you can see if I search this uh, and clicking the book title I can see all the information and uh, the availability of both uh, in this global warm I mean the, in this type of book I have uh, six books in my uh, library and I have already uh, issued one book with uh, uh, the barcode of this and if I am clicking this I can see who took it and issue date is this one and the return uh, return date is actually this one actually it is not actually written so but I can give the return date in there okay so yes uh, if I am going to add the book just add uh, complete all the books here and once you have added and uh, you'll be taken to this page view all books say, uh, and uh, so if i'm uh, once it is added just click on the book name and go to inventory and if you want now currently it's uh, a seven or there if you want to add more like i am if i'm adding more uh, two more books if i click add here so you can see two more books are added and uh, two new serial numbers i mean the barcode has been generated i can even print the barcode here so if I'm going to copy this, paste it here. Print. If I'm clicking print barcode, uh, the barcode is getting printed. Even this barcode is directly printed with the help of uh, Java. And uh, yes, uh, just play around all the things. I can add category here, author here, even uh, the students here. And uh, if I can, I, I'll try to issue that book which we have added just now in Global Mumming. We have added these two. Now, if I'm just clicking issue and I, I want to issue this for I have to give the admission number of the student so to check the admission number let's see what which all the students are available okay so I'm giving uh, going to issue the book to this admission number so going back what is that issue book yeah so I'm just putting my date here and uh, date I'm giving it as this one and now if I'm get, click issuing book yes the book has been issued so if I'm going to the issue history you can see I have uh, issued that book uh, today uh, yes issue date is uh, 217 and uh, return date is uh, 26 okay so I'll share the source code let's uh, go to the code section of this one I'll sh show the uh, what are all the tables you need and how you can host in your local network this one okay 
So first download uh, this folder, uh, this source code of our project, I have uh, given the link in the description to download uh, this. So here yeah, all the code is here. Now going back to my Eclipse IDE, I am creating a new dynamic web project here. So go to dynamic web project. So I'm giving the project name as LMS, which means uh, library management system. Let all other things are default and just click finish. Now you can see I have created a dynamic web project. You want to uh, copy the source code of uh, uh, the project here. So go back to the folder, copy the SRC and web content folder. Just copy it. Now go. we have to go to the uh, workspace so it's in d drive library management uh, test so just open the project name here and just paste uh, the details here okay uh, the csrc and web content just replace all the uh, files in there and uh, paste it yeah, copy and replace yes now go back to your eclipse and just uh, refresh the project so all the codes uh, will come the the updated codes will come there okay uh, all the files has been loaded uh, to our our project you can see all the things are here uh, even uh, the uh, front end and back end is here so the first thing we have to create a, a, a database for this and we get the connection of uh, to the database so first thing first uh, we go to uh, the uh, create table so I have a class name create table which I have written all the statements to create all the tables at a short so we'll create that so you can see there are uh, plenty of tables which is need to be created I have just uh, given the, all the codes here now first we have to uh, before that we have to go to our database so, so this is my uh, mysql uh, client for windows this is I can see all what all the tables I mean what all the database available here and uh, uh yeah this is only a, a web client uh, for our mysql database where you can easily uh, see the tables and the, the databases available so i want to create a database i have already an lms here which all which all the tables are here i'm going to create it fresh because it will be easier for you so i'm going to create a new database just go to create new database here and I'll share the source code. I mean, a video I have shown a video how to use this MySQL client. I'll share the uh, link in the description. You can have it and just check it, download and install it. Now I am uh, giving it as LMS1 and going to create a new database LMS1. Just click OK. As you can see, LMS1 has been created and there, there is no uh, table in there. The table will be showing here. Okay, now going back to our project. So there is a database connection class here where you can see all the driver information and this is directly connecting to my local host so if you are hosting this in a web server you have to create a database there and link it there i am not showing that one and uh, yeah i am going to connect to lms1 the one which uh, the new database which we have created just now now going to my create table uh, class and i'm just uh, right clicking and uh, you have to run this as a java so all the tables will be created so just click to run as and just click java application and just wait for some time to get all the uh, uh, tables created it will take some time okay so you'll get the message all tables created yeah the message is all table created and uh, you can see uh, this message is on the bottom of uh, our create class uh, java uh, create table java class now going back to the lms one let me refresh the uh, client so you can see all the tables has been created so the primary step the database linking and the creating tables has been created okay so let's try running uh, the project uh, going back to our database before you can see there is an admin table where our username and password of the admin will be there so admin username i'm putting it as j and password it is j so this is by default it will be added there if you want to change anything i mean uh, let me add another one then uh, i'm just giving uh, admin and admin and just click tick here so it will be added what is the Mm, field password doesn't have a default value okay so it's added okay our uh, 
admin admin has been added now going back uh, there is some error in the index.jsv this is the page which we start our project so what is the error no i don't think it will create an error let's try uh, running this i'll show uh, just click on run as admin uh, run on server so we are going to host this in uh, tomcat server so I'm going to host this in Tomcat version uh, 9 just click next and browse where you have installed uh, the Tomcat so before this you should install Apache Tomcat 9 uh, in your uh, PC if you don't know how to do it I have shown another video how to host a Java web project in your local network and you can check it and now I have installed in uh, my Apache Tomcat in C drive program files and uh, and Apache 9 is the select OK and just click finish so wait for some time till your uh, project has been loaded you can see your uh, all the things are getting loaded just wait for some time yes uh, the project has been loaded now copy it now let me open in another uh, tab actually another Google Chrome uh, browser and if I'm pasting that link and just click enter yes uh, the uh, project has been loaded completely now we have given this admin and admin as username and password let's try login in yes it's directly taken to library dot we have to change one more thing as you can see here this is the link of our project we have to go to the common and common things where you have to update your uh, link so this is not our public link this is our link you have to use this okay please don't forget they have forgot it now now after doing this just uh, restart your um, server and just restart it here also in the browser now login as admin admin yes it's directly taken to my admin dashboard and this is my dashboard primary dashboard as, it, as i shown uh, uh, first which where i have hosted this in my uh, website so directly i'm going to add a student here i am uh, click add student admission number i'm giving test 111 name i'm giving my name grade is 10 and this section is a now just click add student as you can see how uh, the add uh, student has been added here I'm going to add a uh, book here and issue that book and return that book let's check out now first go to the category section and just click uh, we have if you want to add the category so I'm just uh, giving it as a test category test category and I have not I'm not giving any description so just click add category so our category has been added now we're going to order just like uh, test author um, uh, just click add author so add author has been added now going back to the book now I'm going to add a book so book title I'm just giving this test book title category title category just uh, search for test will come automatically from the database so author also let's just take as a test author and uh, fill out all this if you want i'm not going to fill out there just click add book let's see yeah book has been added here so this is the uh, book details i'm going to add inventory for that so in inventory i'm going to add three uh in uh, books for that just click add so three books has been added if you want to print the barcode if you can you can directly print here now going back to my book section I'm going to this issue this book for the student which we have added. So going to the student section. If I'm clicking view all students, could be the admission admission number. Raise it here. So the return date you can give it here. Anything, just click issue book. So issue book has been issued. So in the issue history, you can see here. If I'm going to my uh, student profile issue history, you can see it here also. Okay. Now if uh, the if the book is uh, you want to return that book so search the issue history with that book details you can see the details here now update the status and you can see here the status as return lost 
anything you can so i'm just putting a return and uh, given the description as test so the uh, issue has been updated so if i'm going to issue history so you can see it's returned and in my issue history here also it's also returned if i'm going to the book section you can see it's also returned so that's all uh, to complete uh, the java project of library management system so i have shown you how to uh, in copy this you can so copy the source code and how to run this in a local pc if you want to uh, uh, host this in a local network school network and the college network i shown another video with complete uh, thing of ip thing, things like ip all the details also so if you are, if you want to host this uh, in your no problem there if you want to host it in your uh, local any other pcs or ip I mean uh, local network you have to change the IP with your server details okay so that's all for now and if you have any doubt in this uh, please comment below I'll be helping you and please like and subscribe for my videos and thanks for watching